Have you received a DMV registration renewal notice that instructs you to contact CARB? Does your notice display the warning shown? This warning indicates that the DMV has determined that your vehicle will be out of compliance with the California Air Resources Board's truck and bus regulation. This means that your vehicle is subject to DMV registration denial. To comply with the truck and bus regulation, as of January 1, 2020, the diesel engine in your vehicle must be replaced or repowered with a 2010 or newer engine. Vehicles that do not meet this requirement can't be operated in California. There is a low-use exemption available that might allow continued operation without replacing the engine. The Truck and Bus Regulations Engine Compliance Schedule determines the compliance of your vehicle. This schedule lays out when diesel engines subject to the rule must comply. Heavier vehicles also have filter requirements. As of January 1, 2020, heavy-duty lighter trucks, such as an F450 or larger, and buses with a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,001 to 26,000 pounds with a 2003 or older engine must be repowered or replaced or be enrolled in the low use exemption. As of January 1, 2020, heavier heavy duty trucks and buses with a gross vehicle weight rating greater than 26,000 pounds with a 1999 or older engine must be repowered or replaced or be enrolled in the low use exemption. By 2023, all vehicles subject to the regulation must have a 2010 or newer engine or be enrolled in the low-use exemption. You might be thinking, hey wait, my lighter vehicle is a 2004 model year vehicle, so it should not be denied registration yet. This is mostly incorrect. Engine model years are typically one year behind the vehicle model year, so DMV and CARB assume that your 2004 vehicle is equipped with a 2003 engine. If this is not the case, you will need to take steps in order to prove the correct engine model year of your vehicle's engine. So now that we have determined that your vehicle's engine is no longer compliant in California, what's next? You will need to repower the vehicle with a 2010 or newer engine model year, or have the vehicle enrolled in the low use exemption, or replace the vehicle with a 2011 or newer vehicle model year that contains a 2010 or newer engine model year or retire the vehicle from the fleet. Financial assistance is also available for upgrading your fleet. Vehicles that don't comply with the regulation can't be operated in California. Currently, there are only limited options available. The low use exemption requires you to operate less than 1,000 miles annually in California, and the NOx exempt area flexibility option requires you to operate exclusively in certain areas of the state. Both the low use and NOx exempt options have a lot of requirements, including the requirement to have already reported the vehicle in CARB's trucker's database. There are also some vehicles that qualify for exclusions from the regulatory requirements, such as personal use motorhomes or pickup trucks with a pickup bed and other vehicles. To avoid DMV registration denials in 2020, excluded vehicles should report in the Excluded Diesel Vehicle Reporting System, also known as EDVER. The vehicle owner may be able to pay the registration fee to receive a 90-day temporary operating permit from DMV. While the vehicle owner can drive during the period, the vehicle is still not compliant with CARB's truck and bus regulation and is subject to citation from CARB. Coordination between the DMV and CARB will lead to higher compliance rates for the truck and bus regulation, which means businesses can now compete on a level playing field and California is one step closer to our clean air goals and protecting public health. For more information on the truck and bus regulation, compliance options, and funding opportunities, visit arb.ca.gov forward slash truckstop.